presentation, uh, I'm going to uh, show you the VHDL test bench part for this experiment. And I've already designed uh, the schematics uh, for a uh, four bit adder circuit in here, as you can see in here. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, declare uh, be to, add a, to, to add a new source. And uh, okay, so before going to that, I need to show you the, uh, the timing diagram as well, because it's important to know that uh, it has some kind of uh, similarity we're gonna observe so as you can see the uh, diagram in here uh, in the first video you have uh, seen uh, these uh, bits like uh, it, it's it's a it's an example of uh, overflow case overflow and you can check other uh, digits uh, using the force uh, constant so let's start with uh, uh, the test bench at uh, a new source and then take a VHL test bench and give it a name for the test bench for short and then next finish. Now it has uh, come to the screen. So as you can see, uh, the uh, inputs are here, uh, the A and B, and you have C in and C out as well. Um, for the uh, signals, we have the same kind of inputs and outputs. So let's go ahead and instantiate all, all of these um, signals, especially the input signals. Uh, so as you know, these are common, like, uh, the down to uh, keyword. It means that your most significant bit is three and your LSB or less significant bit is zero. So it should start from zero. And uh, uh, all the other inputs are in the same uh, format. So let's go ahead and just uh, instantiate the uh, input. Let's go with the and we have so basically you are going to uh, in, uh, you're going to uh, give the inputs for zero signals for, i mean for the zero digits so uh, it, it, there is a way to uh, declare that it should be other uh, keyword then uh, you need to uh, put the sign in here so that it could mean your all of your bits that means your three bits in here uh, zero to uh, your four bits in here zero to three be be assigned to zeros like zero 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 and the same thing you will go for b a signal s should be uh, shouldn't be uh, assigned as anything because it's the output so what about c in because it's an input so let's go ahead and give it a value for uh, for example we can say it should be what it should be zero now it's c in is done we have uh, a, B in the, as the input as well. Now what else? So those other 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 uh, signals signal ports are not are not are not instantiated because they're outputs, right? So we have the B, uh, unit under test, which uh, which we don't need to change anything. Then we need to create a, a clock signal generation. So first of all, we have TB. That means uh, we can have, so in here, uh, instead of uh, no, signals, clock signals, we need to have, uh, you know, uh, constants, like constant uh, binary digits, because uh, in our, uh, in our experiment, we just, you know, we checked with the, with those uh, values, right? We check, we can check it with four cases, right? 
So let's go ahead and check those four cases using uh, constant binary digits, rather uh, clock signals, because clock signals, you cannot uh, differentiate uh, outputs with clock signals. Let's go ahead and start with uh, uh, values for A and B, because A and B are the uh, navigators here. So uh, let's uh, start with A. Uh, after beginning, we can say A should be, uh, and you know it's a string format, so go ahead and give it a string data type. So we have A, then we can go ahead for B. We can have 0, 1, 0, 1 would be good. And now for the wait statement, what should we do? We can uh, have uh, 100 nanoseconds for 100 nanoseconds. And we can change it. Now then, uh, don't end process right now because uh, the process is not completed yet because we need to uh, force another another three constants. So let's uh, check for another one and see what's going on. Uh, it should be one zero one zero and check out with. Um, so it should be one zero one zero again. Wait for what? You can change the statement. Wait as wait for nine seconds again. So in here. Since we are dealing with uh, constant digits, we don't need to put, like, uh, you know, we don't need to worry about the frequencies because uh, it's not like the clock signals. So then this is the second case. Now let's go for the third one. We go for the third one. Uh, a, uh, we can copy and paste them, right? We can copy and paste them. Oops. So that'll work. Yeah, now we can change the A and B in here. So remember, just uh, following those four cases, you need to assign those numbers, those uh, binary numbers. Let's go ahead with one, 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 zero. And then B should be zero, zero, one, zero. You can check that with this one. And then we, you, can, you can have wait for another nanoseconds. So here, you could have that, that one too. So these are two, three cases. Let's go ahead for the fourth one. We can copy and paste the same thing before. Oops. Oh. And here we can have zero zero one zero. Zero zero one zero. And this could be zero zero one one. And then again we can have Wait for 100 nanoseconds. And you like that one. Okay. So this is the end process here. We can say uh, the process could end. Uh, let's mm, revisit those numbers. So first one is 1001 and B is 0101. The second section it has eight as 1010, then B is 
also 1010 and, uh, and in the third case it has uh, a as um, 1110 and then b is 1 one 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 zero yeah and b as zero zero one zero and then a as zero zero one zero and b is zero zero one one so let's go ahead we are done with the uh, code part coding part so let's go ahead and uh, see this you can go ahead and simulate the behavioral model and your a new screen will pop up. Let's switch to the new screen, and you should see uh, those outputs. Uh, so, in order to uh, observe all of the outputs, you need to zoom to full view, and you can see this kind of outputs there. So, as you can see, if you drag the cursor in here, and you can check all of the outputs, or you can uh, sorry. So, or you can uh, go ahead and see what's going on in here. So, in here, you can check all of the outputs. For example, we have uh, given A as 1001 and uh, B as 0101, which will give you the output of 1110. Uh, and, and we can check randomly uh, another one, which is in here, 1001 and 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, which will give you 1110. 1, 1, oh, it's the same. Huh. So let's get another one, maybe this one. As you can see, it's 0, 0, 1, 0, and 0, 0, 1, 1, which should give you 0101. 0, 1. What about the uh, overflow case? Overflow case is in here, 1010, 1010, and it'll get this uh, sum as 0101. 0, 1. Remember, for this one, you can check the carry as well. So drag the cursor in here and see the C out in here it's as it's one, right? So uh, you can check all of the, uh, here you can also check the C out here as one, uh, but in this case, you have got your output in here, it is carry zero. So it can be expressed as zero one, zero one. So uh, like this, you can check all of the outputs, all four cases you need to observe. Uh, it's, it's all about your uh, choice, how to uh, uh, express those uh, digits. But remember, you need to check all of those four cases, uh, I mean, uh, uh, which, is, which has been uh, observed, uh, which has been uh, uh, described in the first uh, part of, the, of this lab video. So, okay, thank you very much for watching. Uh, see you next week.